Good point. Okay, let's move into our top story. The DXB rush, lengthy queues as, as thousands return home after Eid break. So Dubai residents, as you all know, landed back home and back to reality over the last couple of days. And Dubai airport reported some of its busiest days of the year. You've probably seen the videos. We post them on social. They're all over Twitter of early on Saturday and Sunday morning, showing the lengthy, lengthy taxi queues. This is because the people who flew in late night, they could not get the metro because obviously the metro had shut. which resorted to the lengthy uh, taxi queues. Were you there? Did you experience it? Uh, well, the, this comes as no surprise because Dubai airports had tweeted in advance that the Eid al-Fitr holidays that were expected around 1.9 million guests through DXB. It was insane just seeing the footage online. I saw the footage. However, I saw this 1.9 million people traveling through DXB over the Eid holidays And I was freaking out because I flew back in yesterday at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. However, it was extremely well managed. Yeah. Not yeah. that bad. Like these, I saw the videos and I know that people, exp- the problem is the people who came in late night. Mm. They had the wait and that's the last thing you want coming in. Just because the metro had shut, so that's everyone true. had to get taxis. Yeah, that is so true. And but like you said, it was well managed. There were, uh, what do you say, those barricades put in in places and it was really controlled and people knew exactly where to go. It was, if it were any other country, it would be chaotic. Mm. It really would be. But over here, it's like everyone managed to get out smooth and everyone knew exactly where to get off. There were taxi stands, people like the, a pickup uh, and designated area for pickup. and metros, all of that. Sorry, I should laugh. I just remember <laughs> coming through yesterday and the only small queue was for taxis. And mm. usually when I come through to Dubai airport, there isn't a taxi queue. Um, there was a little queue inside, nothing to worry about. And then they, at the beginning, they were kind of making sure the outside queue was very short so you wouldn't have to wait in the sun. Yeah. But when we got there, my partner James is a man who likes to give feedback. <laughs> and what they started doing is they started allowing more people to queue outside. Okay. And he was like, why are you doing that? It's like, it makes no sense. Put them inside. <laughs> and the guy was like, we want to move the queue along. He's like, no, they shouldn't be waiting outside. <laughs> so giving feedback. So hopefully people weren't waiting out too long in this one. So we were like hopping into the shaded areas. He took one for the team in this case. Yeah, he, he likes. He does that. I mean, he saved a lot of people from major heat strokes, I guess, from just waiting outside. Because, you know, come on, come on. Like after a lengthy travel time, you do not want to be standing out in the sun. So in this case, he did us a solid. Tell us, when did you get back from your amazing trip? If anyone follows Simiji on Instagram, did you find yourself? Did I find myself? Yeah. It was euphoric, to say the least. So I went on a solo. So it was too much fun because I, I did a lot in my two, one and a half weeks off. I met family. I went on a group uh, group excursion. Then I went on a solo excursion and was all just, I don't know, each experience teaches you just so much about yourself and life and people. And Have you planned to go on a solo trip? Because I feel like I'm, I'm really no, no, like... No. It was I'm so last impressed. Time. It's amazing. It's hard to travel alone. I feel like it's a difficult like coming of age experience. It was so good. It 